Potterheads, welcome to my channel today. I have another Wizarding Trunk unboxing for you. This is the box for August. The theme was Magical Artifacts. Wow! I just did my unboxing for the Headmasters box and I'm I know for a fact it was the Headmasters box. But the box for it, I'm looking at it right now. The box for it was like a, just a generic high security ball box. But then this month's box looks like it's the Headmasters box. It has the um, sleeping Headmasters all over it. Definitely like this was the box that I was supposed to get my Headmasters box in. But perhaps they printed a little late, which is very unfortunate because this box fits that previous box theme just so well. But anyways, very cool prints. It's a shame that it didn't make it to the Headmaster box. And then here is our sneak peek. Actually, it's not because I think we're taped here. No, we're not. We're just stuck. Here we go. We got this sneak peek. Okay, here we go. Magical artifacts. First thing when I open up is this. Whoa, that was bigger than I expected. Is this like an entire blanket right now? What is this? This is an entire blanket? Okay, it's not like a full size blanket. It's like a small throw blanket. So this is how wide it is. So not very wide at all. It would be big enough to maybe use as like a, like a small couch throw, or if you had like a little tiny baby bed, it would fit in that really nicely. The, the design on it is really, really pretty. I think it's supposed to be um, like the invisibility cloak feels very invisibility cloak. Um, the design is so cool. It's a nice, soft, super silky, soft material. It does say this is 100% polyester. I think the design is really nice. This would also be really cool for like, actually it's kind of the perfect size to use as a tablecloth for my table here. So I do see like some dragons and maybe like some runes and things, but everything's really like blending in with everything else. And like a lot of things are very vague. There might be like some, there's like some suns and like moons. There might be planets or stuff like that. There's a lot of just hieroglyphic or geometric type patterns. Let's just go straight for the book cover. It has another pretty cool inside pattern. Whoa, love that says the book of magical admittance whoa the book of magical admittance it's like the book that magically kind of records which students are going to be accepted into hogwarts so if you might receive a letter from hogwarts first your name was recorded in the book of magical admittance how cool is that Next, let's get this thing because some of my stuff got a little bent up. Move the cheat sheet aside. When I pull that blanket out, I'll just destroy the whole box. So we'll just look at this magical creatures page. I have a dragon on this side, and you guys have Jean, Jin, Genies. Dope. Well, that's pretty cool. Like that page. Genies and dragons. Super cool. Next, I'm gonna take whatever this is. Oh, this is just a little potion. They didn't put it in a box this time. They just kind of wrapped it in some, some bore up here. Ooh, oh, wow. Look at this super pretty potion. This purple to die for. And then it's got these really pretty purple plants growing from the lid though. They could have put plants just floating in here like grown from the bottom but the plants are coming from the lid and growing down to the bottom and that is so cool the plants start out as green and they like kind of go into purple at the bottom 
It says natural vampire repellent vervain. This is highly significant to me too because I watched every single season of The Vampire Diaries and vervain was the stuff in The Vampire Diaries. This is amazing and it's in this nice little tiny bottle with the little twine and this very pretty like a lavender kind of lilac purple wax seal. The label also has a picture of vervain on it which is really pretty and does actually look pretty similar to the plant that they put in here which it's always nice to have that correlation between the label and what's actually in the thing. And the little bit of sparkles that they have in here, it's almost like a, there's like a greenish blue kind of sparkle going on in the purple. It is so pretty. This feels so like, it's funny because it feels very magical and like kind of mermaid, but it's actually vervain and it's to repel vampires. Wow, but I actually love this. This low key because of the also the vampire diaries reference i know i'm getting a little off series here but this might be my favorite item in this entire box i love the color and everything i love this so much okay next let's open oh let's open this box next this is the biggest item in this package Here it is, y'all. Oh, it's double-sided. Yes, here is the veil. You already know. And when we got the portrait pin in a previous box of Sirius going through the veil, was that what that was, a portrait pin? I'm pretty sure it was. I was like, I love the veil, but this is sad. It's nice to have the veil without Sirius falling into it, a different representation of the veil. And let me know in the comments down below if there's a, another name for what I'm trying to say. I can't think if there's a longer name for this item either. It's the veil in the Ministry of Magic that Sirius falls through when he dies that like leads to like the ghost realm or whatever it's supposed to be. It looks really awesome actually. The whole statue, the way the veil looks, it's like kind of shiny, kind of not shiny. It's like got some wave to it, so it kind of looks like cloth, but maybe not. It's like, it's almost like a mirror that's also a cloth. Okay, next we have a little black box here. It says the wizarding trunk, kind of like a faux leather. Oh, it's a sort of Gryffindor necklace. Oops. It's not super detailed, but it's got a nice red gem in the top here. And it's got some a little bit of detail work on the handle. It does have like what looks like a maybe a griffin, a unicorn. And this way at the top kind of looks like a wizard. So it actually may be um, a tiny, tiny little Godric Gryffindor there. That is quite cute. And the shape of it, you can almost get away with like, people might just think that this is a cross that you're wearing. If they're not looking too close, they might not realize it's actually the Sword of Gryffindor. I always like things that are kind of subtle. It is double-sided. The back is the same as the front. It's got this nice little jewelry display box. Oh, this is heavy. I know what this is. The packaging, the packaging. I don't even want to unwrap it actually because the packaging is actually really cool because I'm 99% sure this is the Sorcerer's Stone. This packaging really just reminds me of how the Sorcerer's Stone was, I'm sorry, the Philosopher's Stone. Don't come after me. It does seem like how the Philosopher's Stone was wrapped up in the movie so I really think it is, but it's sad to unwrap it because then like the wrapping is part of it. I'm gonna actually save this for last. Let's open it last. Okay, in the meantime, we have pin here. This says curse breaker and it's like a little key and it's got a little thing on it. What is that? You know, I'm a little confused about what this one is supposed to be. 
it looks really cool i like it regardless i'm not sure i know the exact reference for it though it is like in the shape of a key with like a sort of banner or plaque it says curse breaker and it's got one of these one of these things whatever this is i don't know what that's called some kind of fancy cube type thing and then it's got a G on it. And I don't really know what the G is for either. So I, I might have to wait until I get to the cheat sheet. If the cheat sheet even tells me. Because a lot of the time the cheat sheets for these are very vague. So, um, you know, let me know in the comments down below. If you have any idea what is the proper reference for this. All I can think is Mad-Eye Moody. But that's just because he was obsessed with you know, all of his safety gear for all of his, you know, I love the way they're making these, these types of metal pieces though, because the way they look, they look so like cool and 3D, the way the shading is done. Those look really, really beautiful. Next, I'm gonna take out whatever is in this little, ooh, this is a really soft little velvet pouch. Really, really soft. What is this? Wow! Look at this! It's a Ravenclaw diadem comb! How adorable is that? It looks really beautiful. They've got this nice little like sparkly light blue gem here. All these little clear gems like fake diamonds going along the top here. It's a nice heavy solid like probably a stainless steel material and it is an eagle up at the top it looks super super pretty got some nice detail with like the feathers and the wings it may not be the ravenclaw diadem for real but it is very nice and it definitely kind of gets the point across and it's very shiny and pretty actually gonna keep that in its sack here and the sack even says the wizarding trunk on it right there and then we have another pin and it is a sleeping Dumbledore again these sleeping headmasters are all over the place but I do like the way this one looks he's got the the glasses on they are half moon spectacles and he is a little more relaxed than the print was in the headmaster box because that one was very somber but this one feels much more relaxed and i do like it but all these sleeping headmasters are really kind of starting to weird me out okay we have one more item before we open our little special package here a tiny little mirror of erised wow that's a really nice mirror too i thought it was going to be a jank mirror but that's a legit mirror it's got a stand. Ooh, nice. So it's sort of like a little, um, it's like a little picture frame actually. So if you wanted to, you can unscrew these screws and take this back part out and you can put a picture in here instead of this mirror if that's what you wanna do. But I'm loving the mirror. The fact that it's got a stand. So you can actually have it sit somewhere and be seen. Really nice has the saying on top the detailing on this is really nice i love this coloring of the finish all of the all of the items that they've been making lately have been like just really sharp looking they just look sharp looks really nice and the text on the top has the um backwards saying it says i display what you desire not your appearance so there is that, so I can just look at myself now. And that means we are down to our last item, and that is this little thing, and that means I have to unwrap it. What if I very carefully untie this, and then I could wrap it back up if I want. They did do it that way to where I could untie it. So this is how they did it. Let me try to remember how they did it so I don't mess it up and not be able to redo it if I want. This feels so cool. Brown paper packages tied up with strings. I know that's the Potter Collector's thing, but I always think of it and I always hear him singing it.
Wow, look at this. It's so big. It's got one side that's flat enough that you can set it down to display it. And the shape of it is so cool because then it sticks up. It's not just like a flat thing. That's amazing. And now I'm like, should I wrap it back up or should I leave it unwrapped? Maybe I'll leave it with the wrapping. I don't even know. What a cool thing to have. You think that as a collector, you think I have a sorcerer stone in my collection, but alas, earwax, I do not. Now we can look at the cheat sheet. Number one is the Magical Book of Admittance. This book cover fits the Six House Edition book designed by a Wizardry Workshop. Number two is the stone. The Philosopher's Stone is a mythical alchemical substance that is known to be able to turn metals into gold and produce the elixir of life. Number three, the hair comb. It is rumored that those who comb their hair with this comb gradually gain increased intelligence. And that is also the, the fable about the Ravenclaw diadem too. Number four is the shrunken sword necklace. Wear this necklace in case you find yourself in need of a way to dispatch dangerous magical objects. Calling it shrunken just makes it so much better. How do they just get me with this stuff? Just the wording. Just like this was just a tiny stupid sword and now it's a shrunken sword. I'm glad they told me that because I could have just, you know, given this away. I wouldn't have even known that there was just... I just had to say an incantation and just turn it into the full size sword. What a waste that would have been. Number five is the portrait pen. While the person depicted in this portrait isn't an artifact himself, he was a collector of many different magical artifacts. That is very true and that's a good point to make here. Number six, the mirror. Those that gaze into this mirror see themselves as they desire to be. We suspect that you will simply see yourself reflected in the mirror because we think you are perfect just as you are. Thank you. Designed by Here Be Monsters. Here Be Monsters is coming up really often now. Number seven is the creature page. It teaches you about two creatures that are known to protect treasure and magical artifacts. This page is a collaboration between the Wizarding Trunk and Wizardry Workshop. Wow, that's cool. I didn't even think about that, the correlation there. Number eight is the Curse Breaker pin. There is a new bank opening in the alley and they have an opening for an elite witch or wizard that is capable of breaking the strongest of curses, unlocking vast amounts of gold and magical artifacts do you have what it takes to join this group of elite witches and wizards? What are they talking about? Yeah, I am still very confused about this item. So let me know in the comments, what does this mean? And number nine is the Vervain Potion. This magical plant has been used for centuries to repel vampires. This herb is very rare to find except in a small town in Virginia where the locals continue growing it. What? I don't know about this. Do you people like the Vampire Diaries? The Wizarding Trunk, I need to know. Number 10, the door. This door is thought to be a portal between the living and the dead. However, we caution stepping through this portal because no one that has ventured through has returned. And number 11 is the disappearing blanket. So it is an invisibility cloak reference. If you're looking to disappear for a bit while reading a book or watching a movie, we recommend covering up with this blanket to remain undisturbed. And that was everything in this box. Now for favorites. Okay, so for my favorite item, this is really a toss up here but I'm gonna stick with my guns and say that my favorite item was the Vervain Potion because of the Vampire Diaries. I know this is a Harry Potter video, I'm sorry. 
but it's not just because it's the vampire diaries i actually love the way this potion looks the purple i don't think we've got anything so purple before and i'm just really digging it i think it's so pretty the plants in it the little sparkle that it has in it i just think this potion is so cute and pretty and also halloween is coming with the purple vibe and just the vampire vibe i'm just really feeling this vervain potion so this is my number one then my number two favorite item is gonna be the philosopher's stone and i especially liked it with the packaging i think if not for the packaging with it it would have been just whatever it would have been fine i would have I mean it's a philosopher's stone that i didn't have in my collection i love it if not for this fancy vervain it would have been my favorite but this packaging with it and opening it up and everything felt so philosopher's stone it was so great like this was amazing and then so that's my second favorite item and then i'm gonna say my third favorite item is the comb the ravenclaw diadem comb mostly i'm just impressed by the weight of this it just feels like an actual like nice elegant item that if someone were to have a ravenclaw diadem that this feels like an item that they also may use it feels very fancy so i'm loving that and then my fourth favorite item is the invisibility cloak blanket and the only reason this didn't make it further up in my favorites list is simply because it's too small i wish it would have been a little i mean the wideness being only this wide is definitely not that useful for much it's going to look better than anything else it's not really a useful blanket it's just a nice looking blanket and i love how it looks i'm definitely going to use it for aesthetic purposes but as far as an invisibility cloak goes and like having such a nice material and pattern i wish i could wear the invisibility cloak but anyways that is my pick of the favorites in this box and you guys can have your own favorites so let me know in the comments down below what are your favorite things in this box and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on instagram and i will see you in my next video